Hello and welcome. We're going to be talking today about student social emotional learning and artificial intelligence. I'm Laurie Guion, and in my role, I support districts on using technology effectively in the classroom. I want to start by just talking about social emotional learning and the CASEL framework. The CASEL framework has five parameters that they have found that allow for that student success and health and wellness. They are self-management, responsible decision-making, relationship skills, social awareness, and self-awareness. There have been hundreds of independent studies that have looked at what the importance of social emotional learning is and how it benefits our students. And there are four core areas that they have found that it can be very effective in helping. One of them is academics, in their mental health, in their development of skills, and it can also help with our school climate. So how does artificial intelligence fit in within this CASEL framework? Well, there was a study done in 2019 around mental health and the decline that we've seen over the past few decades. And it came down to one really important thing, play. We don't allow our students to have independent play anymore without that direct oversight. So we have an opportunity here as we're learning about artificial intelligence to bring back play into our classrooms, obviously with the parameters. So I want to show you a quick video that you see on your left. So this student is using something called reflective AI. It is self-driven where he can work on his skills, but he can do it on his own and independently. And then the uh, student on the left is still getting the support he needs uh, as he gets stuck. In the center, what you're seeing is, and this happens to be a bus in one of the districts that I work on, that so we bring the students on the bus for different academics. Here they're using Osmo again for the beginning sounds of words, but instead of having adults do the, uh, the support, we bring on middle school students to help the, the younger students learn. All the way on your right, what you're seeing is a turning, Turing tumble, and what this does is it simulates a marble powered computer. It shows students how artificial intelligence work, how algorithms work, and uh, they're able to work through some puzzles on their own. So it allows them to work on their management skills. We also bring on a device called the mirror. This is by Swivel and here the students get to reflect on their learning. And so I'm going to share a couple of uh, students responses to one simple question, which was what is one thing you wished adults knew about artificial intelligence and what you do online? Um, I wish that they knew that AI actually teaches you instead of AI distracting you. Now, I'm not showing you the whole video, but right at the very beginning, uh, or right as soon as the student starts to have these conversations with the machine, I get feedback uh, from, the, from the AI for me to take a look at. Here, it really focused on the castle skills of responsible decision-making and self-awareness. It told uh, us immediately that the students found that AI could be educational. She had some curiosity. And then it also gives information to the students. Um, I would where it gives them feedback and it, it also focuses it on the CASEL framework around her being positive, being thoughtful, focusing on what you can learn, but then pushes her social awareness, thinking about how AI can help the proper use of technology for her and for others. Here's another one. Uh, that they can actually trust me on what I watch and that I'm not watching inappropriate things and that I'm smart enough to, to not watch the dumb things. So here, the student immediately, um, I was told from AI that they felt they can be trusted, but they had some wonderments and they wondered about some monitoring capabilities later on in the video. Um, this really focused on their social awareness and their self-management. So again, it gave the feedback to the student. It talked about her self-awareness and how she interacts and how it, it can be, how AI can affect what they do online. But it can also talk around her social awareness where it talked about um, connecting her ideas on how she uses AI for safety and for privacy. So when we're thinking about using artificial intelligence, especially around social emotional skills, we really want to focus in on using it when it does personalize that learning experience for our students. It offers some real-time feedback like you saw with the mirror. It gives you data-driven insights and any time that you can combine play in order to help build those SEL skills. Thanks so much for listening.